So checking out this version here, right? So as we are going through, grabbing up here, getting up. It's cool. Uh, it seems fairly similar to the previous one. So I'm just going to stick with this guy, with the newer one, uh, not to a crazy compare. Um, I think it works. It works pretty well. I think you can, uh, at this point, get out of step mode and start splining. Um, I would go for starting pose, probably take this arm back to this, um, just for it, it gives you a cleaner silhouette. So this arm here is in, in the clear, and not forming a tangent here. Um, and as you go into spline, you, you will have you know, a compression with the root, so her that you know belt line will be down here and a bit back. So she goes back a bit to anticipate and then pushes forward, goes into that, and it would be cool if I'm looking at this throughout here, it feels like that orientation is the same. So she's always kind of like this. So it'd be neat that as you go, she would start going down a bit, right? So she goes forward, um, she's always in the same orientation, and you have it here. But it has that feeling of that arched back is always like this. So make sure that visually it gives you actually the opposite curve, right? You can potentially have uh, shoulders up and she's getting ready. And then you got that jump. This is nice uh, that you got your full extension. Make sure that you stay fairly stretched out throughout. Uh, for this, it would be neat. Um, you know, as you go on with more breakdowns, to have uh, one knee, uh, one leg definitely reaching that wall first. So it doesn't feel like she's kind of like a, f a flat splat. And you potentially, uh, again, it was, it's going to have to need more breakdown, but it feels like you're doing a jump and then it kind of stays, and you would have to have something where there's an arc and then drop, right? Unless you're using this for a jump and she goes to this and immediately tries to get up, which you could do, but then you would have to have not this here, uh, meaning it feels like you're starting to jump and then it's a little pause and then she starts going up and that's why it feels like a splat. If you're not doing a jump, drop, slide, 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 trying to get up and you're doing one where she jumps to run up, you would have to go from this to here to the next frame already going up where she's really going up and struggling with the feet and pulling herself up so without that type of pause where the root is not going up you know I mean I hope that's clear but she goes up and it feels like she's doing this so it should be continuous let's get up there and I feel like you could add you know one or two slips here. It feels like you're doing one leg and then she's just trying. It's at least, it feels like you would almost have to have, um, uh, what's the word, like a, a higher a higher wall so that you can go from here to uh, a pose where she's just a bit higher. It just feels like she gets on this and it gets stuck and is already, you know, struggling and you can see with the elbows, which is a nice touch and then slip. So it feels like she could have a, a bit of a bigger, um, a bit more success, getting a bit higher. But then you get into that, right? So you go, yeah. And I think that timing-wise will have to be a bit faster. It has to be, yeah. It will have to be a slip. And with the slip, you have to really feel how um, the only thing that prevents her from falling down is, is her hands holding. So you're going to have to have that. Those have to be fully extended, arms fully stretched out, shoulders up, and then either she kind of has to fall back with her head a bit, right? Like everything falls down, hands are holding on, that stretches the whole body, and her head snaps back. You want to feel that impact of if you're falling down and you're just holding on with your hands, boom. And then she tries again with this, and that works, right? She, ah, tries again. Careful as you spline this out from here to here. That's very big. So you're gonna have to have a lot more breakdowns. How? Uh, imagine she might go first with her head, but push herself up, where it feels like he, she's kind of pulling her back, you know, this way, and then she might bring herself up with her arms, and then she brings up her her um, leg. 
So make sure that that's nicely staggered. And after that, this feels like she's not... Like, it feels like she has really big boobs in terms of... That's the wall. She is like this with her arms, and that's her boob. And then she's like this. Only because of the orientation of those arms. And you want, you want to make it feel that she's really hanging on. And she's flat against the wall. And this orientation, like this... I would see her arms being down here, and she would be here. I mean, that would be her pose. Arms very flat. And then make sure that as you continue on, you know, when she does, does that, it's, you know, the timing is not so even, it's not so beep. It's more like it'll pop. And then, you know, give it a little bit more of a, or even, even her shoulders could sag a bit more, she could drop just a tiny bit more. Um, and it would involve the chest a bit, so when the head goes forward, the chest is affected by that. And her, her um, same with the hips and with a slight little, you know, a little, a little uh, I wouldn't say a wiggle in the legs, but it's a little bit of adjustment. Alright, that's what I have. Thank you. Alright, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright, thank you.